Good morning everyone. Today we are going to read an interesting story Pip overcomes his fears. This story is written by the famous novelist Charles Dickens. Pip overcomes his fear means Pip controls or wins his fears. Now come to the main characters of the story. The first one is Pip. Pip's first name is Philip and his surname is Philip. He is an orphan. The second one is convict. He is a runaway convict. It bhaga hua, escaped Kelly. The third one is Mrs. Joe Gregory. His sister, 20 years older than him. And the last one is Mr. Joe Gregory. His brother-in-law, his sister's husband and who is a blacksmith by profession. Now come to the story. Pip was sitting in a churchyard. When the story starts, Pip was sitting in a churchyard. Churchyard means a kabristan. Pip was sitting in a churchyard beside the graves of his father, mother and his brothers. He was feeling alone. He was very sad. It was a cold winter afternoon and when it grew dark, Pip was, Pip was feeling alone and he started crying. Just then he heard a voice. It was a terrible voice. The voice said, don't move or I will cut your throat. When Pip turned, he saw that there was a convict. He had iron rings on his legs. Uske jo paro mein bediyan badi hui thi. He was muddy and lame. Lame means not properly. A person who cannot walk properly because he had some problem in one leg. The convict asked his name. He replied that my name is Pip and I live in that village. Pointing out to his village. Then the convict turned him upside down and emptied his pocket. There was some bread in his pocket and the convict ate that bread hurriedly. Next the convict asked him his whereabouts. He said that he was an orphan and he lived with his sister and brother-in-law. When the convict came to know that his brother-in-law was a blacksmith, he asked him to bring a file and some food the next day to, uh, to the old battery. Battery is a place where cannons are kept. Jaha par top rakhi jati thi pehle. So it was an old battery. Now Pip reached home as his sister was a very strict woman. He had to steal the food. His brother-in-law was a very friendly person but his sister was a very strict woman and so Pip decided to steal some food from the pantry. It was a Christmas Eve and the next morning at dawn Pip went to the pantry. Pantry is a place where kitchen items, dishes and groceries are kept. He stole some bread, cheese, pie, bone. Then he went towards forge. Forge is a place where metal is heated and molded into shapes. He took a file from there. File is a tool which we help cut the iron. Ko kar sakte then he ran away to the old battery. When he reached there, the convict was waiting for him. He was moving to and fro. Just the, uh, when Pip reached there, the convict took all the food items from him and started eating hurriedly. Uh, when he finished his food, he started uh, filing at his iron rings. Then Pip smoothly and silently moved away. On his way, he thought that police must be waiting for him as he had helped the convict. 
but when he reached home he found his sister waiting for him he told him that he had been listening to the christmas carols christmas carols are the songs which are sung at the time of christmas at dinner time some policemen came they, uh, they had come there to get some handcuffs repaired handcuffs hatkadiyon ko repair karwane ke liye wo wahan par aaye the as his brother in law was a blacksmith after repairing jo and pip accompanied the policeman to see what the matter was and they saw that the convict had been captured now pip feared that the convict would tell him tell the policeman that pip had helped him but the convict took all the blame on himself he told the policeman that he had stole the food items and filed from a blacksmith's home now pip's fear was relieved but he was feeling guilty not to tell joe everything about the convict thank you